This first sequence shows the furnace stream entering the ladle. And as will be evident from the short movie, the stream is not a compact stream. It actually tears apart, is full of holes, and is entraining copious quantities of air into the ladle. This affects steel quality by reoxidizing the steel and alloying elements that are present in the steel. The challenge is to try to make sure that the stream coming from the furnace is a compact stream. This means making sure that the runner or the nozzle, the system that is used from in the furnace for the transfer operation is very well maintained. We can see the steel entering the ladle here and tearing apart into droplets and large globules of steel. That gives rise to reoxidation. This next sequence shows ladle stirring, where gas is being injected into the ladle through a lance. The flow rate of gas entering the ladle is 300 litres a minute. The ladle is a 60 tonne ladle and the film is being recorded at 500 frames a second. In this process we can see that the bubbles that are generated and behind the stopper rod we see a very large bubble being generated and this bubble is certainly not a small bubble. They are very very large bubbles. Sometimes a foot or a third of a meter, a bit larger in diameter. These bubbles of steel flow over the slag and this is very good from the point of view of slag mixing but it is not so good from the point of view of reoxidation. So excessive stirring can call deteri cause deterioration of quality. So it is very important to try to control the stirring operation in the ladle in order to ensure that we have good mixing but at the same time to make sure we don't cause excessive stirring which will lead to reoxidation of the steel. This next sequence shows the nature of the stream coming from a slightly throttled slide gate valve and again this ladle stream because the, the nozzle is slightly throttled, this ladle stream is not a smooth stream. We can see that it's rough and ragged and will entrain air into the tundish, resulting in the formation of massive defects. And it's for this reason that we need to protect the stream. Here is an example of what happens when we deliberately inject oxygen around the slide gate, the stream becomes much rougher because oxygen lowers the surface tension of the steel and the steel can tear apart, forming droplets, uh, causing massive entrainment of air, dragging air into the tundish and forming slag in the tundish. These white patches that we see on the steel stream, the lighter patches, correspond to reoxidation, which takes place extremely rapidly. This next view shows the impact zone in the tundish, where the ladle stream enters the tundish. The dark material in the background floating on the steel in the tundish is freshly made slag, slag that's formed by the reoxidation of molten steel, air drawn into the tundish by the falling stream, generating freshly made slag. In order to prevent that uh, taking place, we will use submerged entry nozzles. And here is an example of steel flowing from the ladle into the tundish through a submerged nozzle. In this case, the black patches of slag that we saw in the previous sequence are no longer present. The surface is bright and clear and for this reason we need to add synthetic tundish flux to prevent reoxidation of the steel.
In this sequence, we look at the character of a stream coming through a regular Tundish nozzle into a billet mould. This is the stream pouring through air. Under these circumstances, a smooth stream will be only slightly oxidised, a rough stream will be strongly oxidised. To prevent that happening, we protect the steel with an inert gas such as nitrogen or argon or perhaps carbon dioxide. And shrouding the stream is also possible using liquid nitrogen. And in some plants, liquid nitrogen is added just below the nozzle and that liquid nitrogen runs down the, the pouring stream and collects in the mould of the casting machine and there it generates an inert gas that prevents reaction between the steel and the atmosphere. So the use of liquid nitrogen as a gas shroud is an effective way of preventing contamination.